channel I hope you're all really well so today's video is a B&M haul I'm basically spending most of my life in B&M and home bargains at the moment just find so many amazing things in these kind of shops for Christmas I've managed to pick up so many things from B&M that make great presents Rudy's just come in so he's gonna have a little investigate of all the things that I've put out there is nothing for you Rudes come here come here so with B&M I definitely feel like they have got so many options for Christmas. I mean you could literally do all of your shopping. You could decorate your tree, buy the tree, get your crackers, get all your treats and chocolates and get all your gifts and the wrapping paper at the same time. Like there isn't a lot that it doesn't offer, it just does everything. So yeah, I managed to get quite a lot of gifty things so I will jump straight into the video and show you exactly what I bought. So first to show you is this. I always seem to get one of these for Toby. I think actually they're probably not the best value for money but I just think that they just look quite impressive he's always really pleased when he gets one of these because as I've said many times before he doesn't like chocolate this is always a good little thing for him because it's got things that he does like which is sweets and popcorn and yeah it's just that nice little thing for when we have a movie night so it's got two popcorn boxes a box of sweets and a box of popcorn so he can save that for when we have a family movie night which is basically his favorite thing to do in the world so that one was for Toby and that was a five pound another foodie gift is this one which was also five pound this is for Peter's Nan I just think it is the perfect Nan present so in this you have got a fruit cake you've got a box of luxury tea bags You've got the classic shortbread fingers and then some blackcurrant jam. So this was £5. They also had in there some amazing hampers. They were more expensive. I think there was a £10 one and then a £15 one. And they had sort of similar things in. But obviously you've got this gorgeous hamper with it as well. And I did toy with getting her one of those. But then I, I just thought, I don't know whether she would appreciate having the hamper. Whether she would just think that, you know, I was something to store but if you were looking for a present for nans and granddads or anyone to be fair i would be happy receiving one then they do have the gorgeous food items in the nice hampers i thought they were really good value for money especially the 15 pound one because it was really quite a big size another gift item that i picked up was this highlight and glow fusion revolution makeup gift box they had in the B&M that I went to basically a wall full of Revolution makeup gifts. They had just loads of them. I can't remember the price. This is really irritating me. I've just looked everywhere for my receipt that I tried to remember to put aside, which I've somehow lost. But I, it was a good price, however much I paid. If I can remember, I will put it down below. So in here, you get two highlighters, you get two liquid highlighters, and then you get this eyeshadow palette, which has got some really gorgeous looking colours. And I always think Makeup Revolution is really good. I think it's really good value for money, and I've always found their products to be like great products especially for the price so that I'm hoping will be very well received and these are limited edition boxes but like I say there was a ton of them there was like ones that had all the different lip kits in that are like a much cheaper version and dupe of the Kylie Jenner lip kit things that she does so there was a ton of different gift ideas for any makeup lovers if you haven't checked out the fragrances in B&M then I think that they are a must because they are super cheap this was around $2.99 or $3.99 no more than that and I have bought one I'm not sure if it was this one but I bought one for Peter before that smelled a lot like millions and it's like a gold bottle so this is for my nephew who is just coming up to the age now where he might want to start wearing a bit of aftershave so this is a sort of perfect gift for him the one that I bought for Peter was it was a gorgeous smell but it wasn't that strong but obviously for just a few pounds he just wore it like when he went to work because it's like everyday sort of fragrance and it was so nice honestly I would definitely check them out so this one is the 
VIP Gold Edition and I'm pretty sure this is the one that smells like millions. I also picked up this for Peter which I thought was a really fun gift. He does like hot food. I'm a complete wimp with it but I thought this was quite good game. It is called um, the Ring of Fire Roulette. So it contains six different hot spicy sauces and basically you play it a little bit like spin the bottle so the arrow will land on one of the sauces if you're sitting in a circle of people then they have to have the sauce whichever the arrow lands on so that might be quite a fun game to play at christmas we like doing these those sorts of games like we did the bush duck a trial one last year where you had to eat like mealworms and things but and that was all fine but the worst bit was for me like they had it had some chili peppers in Oh god, just not for me at all. But I did think that was quite a fun game. £5 for six sauces. So yeah, a little game of roulette. I picked up this for Toby. So I always try and collect little things like this to go in his room because the way his room is set out, if you haven't seen it, it's like he's got um, a high rise bed and it's like a gaming bed. So it's got all these little shelves at the bottom and a big space for his TV. And we're going to get some of the LED strip lights to go around everywhere. And he is game mad. So this was a perfect little game light to go on his shelves because I'm always looking for little cool things to go in all the in all the little shelf spaces because there is quite a lot of gaps to fill and he's getting older now this is all just kind of cool to him so he likes things like this it is a glow up gaming in progress light it was around four pound I had looked at it in Argos and I think it was more than this I don't know whether it was the same size I'd spotted it and thought well I was going to get that from Argos so I might as well get it from here but yeah just a nice little gaming light just a little accessory for his bedroom another cool little gaming light is this Minecraft one this is really similar to one that we have already which is like the Mario question mark box and you just press on it it makes the little coin noise and it lights up so this is a little creeper Minecraft light again I can't remember the price just a couple of pounds for this you normally pay a little bit more when it's like branded items but yeah it lights up and makes the noise of a creeper so great for any minecraft fans which my boys definitely are and i also picked up one of these i thought this was really cute it's this little disco torch archie in particular is a little bit obsessed with torches and having things like that in the dark so he is going to love this so it is just a torch that does a little disco light i don't know how good it's going to be it does say 14 plus on it but I can't really see that it'll be much of an issue for Archie to have it. But yeah, it'll make a disco light all in the room when it's dark. So I think he's going to absolutely love that. And that was £4. Another little spice gift that I picked up was this it the right way around it is this chili challenge so it is chili flavored chocolate and then i think it has got like a different heat level for each of the chocolate this was only two pound just a great little stocking filler i also picked up some of these giant gummies for my boys i've got one each for them so they like to watch the it seems to be a big thing in america where they do on youtube challenges of picking a gummy version and then a real version and Archie in particular is obsessed with it he loves watching those kind of videos so I've spotted these and thought he is gonna love them because every time he watches one of these videos he's always like oh I wish I could have that and I wish I could do that challenge so maybe it's something that I'll try and recreate for him one day but I just got three of these they were a pound each so I've got a big cola can a milkshake and then a hot dog so great for the stockings again. This is something that I mentioned in my men's gift guide. If you haven't seen that, then go give it a watch. So it is a trainer cleaning kit. This is a great stocking filler for any man or any trainer lover, to be fair. I shouldn't just say men because obviously everybody wears trainers. So it is a little trainer cleaning kit. It was five pound. Inside here, you get a trainer cleaner, you get a plastic brush and some cleaning cloths. Again, just great for a stocking filler or just for one of those little gifts. And it is by a company called trainer buddy another thing that i picked up in there which i thought was really good value actually in b&m which you don't always think to look for in there this sort of clothing and 
nightwear and things was a couple of packs of pajamas so they were four pound each this one is just a football theme and then this one oh this one's also a football theme i thought i got different ones so i just thought they were cute four pound each i thought it was a really good price for a pair of pajamas so i'm not sure how good quality they're gonna be but the boys definitely need some new pajamas so they are perfect for them another great little stocking filler a very practical handy gift is this telescopic torch so this was three pounds and it's got like it extends massively so it's great obviously to see in any little dark places that you can't see with your torch and it's also got a little flexy head on it like that I just think that is a really handy little thing to have around the house so three pound for this this little gadget I picked up this a little gift for myself because I am just imagining all the nights when I'm bringing the snacks into the living room and I want to put them on a nice board so if we have any little treats like baked camembert and some pate and a little plowman's then I could put it all on this board and obviously when we're allowed to have people round again then it will make a good serving platter as well just for a cheese board or anything at Christmas and that was three pound another home item that I picked up up was I got two packs of these so it was a pack of two for seven pounds so I've got four of them just to replace the boxes in the boys room because I find that they go out of shape quite easily so yes yeah, seven pound for two of them feels quite sturdy and then it's just got this like wicker grass pattern on the outside so yeah I've already started filling them up so just extra bits of storage which B&M is always amazing for. Pretty standard Christmas present for dads I always think is this big box of classic shortbread. This was really inexpensive I wish I could tell you the price but always such a bargain in places like B&M to get the big boxes of shortbread so they are going to be very well received I already know it. And then another dad gift is this Turkish Delight I am not a fan are you a fan of Turkish Delight? Comment below if you're a fan of it. Personally, I think it is just one of the worst things ever invented. Like your Turkish Delight is safe around me. I'm not gonna eat it, which can't be said for a lot of sweet things, but well, just not a fan whatsoever, but a great price in B&M. And another pretty standard Christmas gift is these festive friends these are always good to go in the christmas eve hamper i love these these just automatically make me feel really christmasy so obviously i'm going to get the kids them every year i think most people receive a box of these when they're little at christmas so these are around a pound in b&m for the box of these i also got some of this christmas tape so it just says do not open until the 25th of December and then the other one has like Christmas trees on it I just thought it was nice to have some themed sellotape I just walked past it and one thing that I'm forever losing is rolls of sellotape or if Rudy spots one he's got a real thing for rolls of sellotape and he will chew them up to pieces so I needed some sellotape and I thought why not get the Christmas themed one as well to wrap all the presents in and then lastly I just got some wrapping papers so what I tend to do is because I've got three boys I tend to buy three different rolls of wrapping paper and then stick to one roll for each of the kids and then I know whose is whose and when they are opening things on Christmas morning they know what their wrapping paper is and they won't end up opening anybody's by accident. Santa doesn't need to put a million labels on things because they will each have their own wrapping paper and on Christmas morning I can say Santa has wrapped yours in there and then so on and so on so that is a little tip for wrapping for kids just do each of them in a different wrapping paper so I've got three different ones there and they are nice big rolls but I never have enough wrapping paper I always find that but yeah always get them from places like B&M and they've got obviously loads of different designs so it's easy enough to get three different prints and then I just picked up this I did have one of those boxes of like the um, four rolls and then you get your bows and that in the middle that was five pounds but then I saw this for a pound and I thought well this is actually really nice and I don't really feel like I need to pay the five pound for the four rolls when I think this is probably 
just as much on one roll as it is for the four rolls that are in the luxury gift wrap and this is just a pink print with little christmas trees on so i thought that was really nice actually and just for a pound for 12 meters of wrapping paper i thought that's probably all i'm gonna need to be honest for any like grown-up presents that i'm wrapping and that is everything in my b m haul i have just got a million and one of these hauls coming up because i am just i spend all my money in b m and home bargains even more so this time of year so there is just a load of um these bargain shop hauls coming up so i really hope that you enjoy them <laughs> because there's a lot but yeah this is everything that i picked up from b&m i really hope you enjoyed it i hope that it gave you some ideas if you were looking at going to b&m and picking up any gift ideas i think they have got it really right this year i think there is so much choice for any one that you're buying for and the decorations are incredible as well. I haven't bought any decorations yet because I need to get them all down from the loft and see what I've got because I always forget how, I, how many decorations I've got and every year I'll go, oh, I forgot I had that. So I don't wanna buy any decorations if it's not needed, basically. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and I will see you again for my next one. Bye everyone.